What's up, Internet? Kern1776 here with another video for you. So a few weeks ago, I made a video about some ridgeline knots or some knots that I use while putting up a ridgeline or building a basic shelter where a ridgeline is involved. And I got a lot of DMs and I got a lot of messages and a few emails from people that were really interested in seeing more knots. I got some cordage here and we're going to look down here on the table and I'm going to show you a couple more knots. These knots Probably many of you already know how to tie. Maybe some of you don't even know what the name of them are. Um, may have been doing them for years and just didn't know. Uh, some of you probably have no clue what kind of knots these are, nor how to tie them. And of course, some of you probably know way more about knots than I do, and that's okay. I'm here to show you guys these couple knots, and you can add them to your list of knots if you haven't already, yeehaw. So let's get started. So the first knot I'm gonna show you is the bowling. The bowlings are really good not to tie if you wanna create a loop that when under load does not get smaller, right? So uh, recovery situations is great for towing and things like that. It's also great for rescue situations because it does not tighten down and restrict, you know, whatever it is that you're tied off to. Uh, it's also great to use, you know, go around a tree, loop your main line through, put a toggle in. I'll demonstrate that here in a second. But first, we got to learn how to tie the bowline. So what you want to do, take your tag in, all right? We're going to create a loop right here in the middle of this main line. So here we have a loop. Now the size of your bowling loop is determined by how much tag in you have here, not this, okay? This is where the knot's going to be created. This is where the loop, the final loop of the bowling is going to be, okay? So you want to take your tag in, go through the small loop you made. Again, remember, this determines the size. So if we go real far up in there, our final loop is going to be small. If we kind of keep it like this, we're going to have a little bit larger loop, okay? So the rabbit goes through the hole from the bottom, okay? Go around your main line right here around the tree, some people say. The rabbit goes through the hole, around the tree. Back through your original loop or your hole. Okay, and bring it back here. This is the same tag in. I went through, around, and back in. Bring it here, pinch it, okay? Grab your main line, you can hold here too. But grab your main line and pull this up and this down. And there you have your bowline. Okay, so this loop under load is not going to come down and make this loop smaller, okay? Very effective knot, works really good, and easy to untie. There's your bowling, y'all. So the second knot I'm gonna show you is called the clove hitch. I use clove hitches a lot, uh, and uh, it, it works great. It's a really fast and simple knot to tie. It is relatively strong. Um, it can slip a little bit, but there's a way around that that I'll show you and uh, it unties really easily too. So um, you can use the clove hitch to, you know, strap to a horizontal bar or a vertical bar. I, I tend to, I find myself doing it a lot with horizontal bars, uh, posts, uh, boat cleats, things like that. So I'm gonna take the tag end of your cordage. I wanna go over this bar, under, across over it. So I'm crossing back over, going under again, and then I'm coming through this loop that I made when I'm crossing it. And then you want the, uh, the tag end to go away from your main line. It's like this. So as you can see, it creates a 
across here and binds onto itself, onto its tag end. So you got this here and crossing over. And it's relatively strong. As you see, it slips a little bit. There's an easy fix for that. Just do a simple stopper knot here and it won't pass through, okay? This is a really, really quick and easy knot. And, you know, depending on, of course, what cordage you're using, it may slip a little bit more than others, but it's a relatively strong knot. And it's good to use, you know, if you wanna make a handle or anything like that, um, you can use the clove hitch. And again, it's simple to untie. Just grab where the cross is, lift up, voila. So there you go, a couple knots for you to add to your list if you haven't already. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, be sure to comment and like down below and share with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon right there. That way you know when I'm posting new videos. All right? Love you. Mean it. We'll see you on the next video.